Inventory availability and rebates will always dictate how negotiable a brand new vehicle is right now. You got both of these things happening for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. They're offering rebates. They got like 14,000 Jeep Grand Cherokees in stock. And I'm hearing that dealerships are cutting discounts. Logged on to Edbits a couple days ago, and I saw that even they were recommending that you pursue a 7% discount on the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is getting me kind of fired up because I know that if you walked into a dealership and test drove the car and kind of killed maybe like a couple hours of a salesman's time on a busy Saturday, they'd be kind of under a little bit of pressure to get rid of this Jeep. What you could do is, is say, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm necessarily interested in getting this thing right now. You know, whenever the price really comes down, I'll probably end up pulling the trigger. Got a little bit of time. Watch how quickly they can ask you, well, what would it take to get you into this thing this afternoon? And start the conversation off like that. It's very, very easy to solicit offers for the Jeep Grand Cherokee and developing your bargaining strategy using leverage from offers you may already have. What I want to do for you in this video is break down exactly what you can expect if you're in the market for a brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'll break down inventory. We'll talk about rebates, incentives, lease payments. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you can expect if you're in the market for a Grand Cherokee. What is happening, guys? Ari here from negotiationguides.com. By clicking here or the link in the description below, you can shop around to all the local dealerships in your area for new and used vehicle pricing. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is going to give you everything you're going to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, let's get down to business. So according to cars.com inventory data at the moment, we've got a little bit more than 10,000 Jeep Grand Cherokee gas models. We also have like 7,000 four by E models, but that's for a different video that I'm going to be talking about altogether on a different day. You're going to notice for the other trims, the pilot, the Highlander, the Pathfinder, they're all just at around 5,000 units at dealership lots at the moment. So you can kind of tell that the Jeep Grand Cherokee and probably the Ford Explorer are probably going to be your best bet. I just didn't want to put the Ford Explorer in this discussion because it's obvious that it's a solid backup option already. So as usual, the majority of the inventory that's available on the Jeep Grand Cherokee is going to be on the limited. It's going to be probably followed up by the Laredo, then the Summit, and then the Overland. You got a little bit of altitudes. I would strongly encourage sticking to either the Laredo or the limited. And actually for the sake of tonight's negotiation guide, I wanted to use a limited. I was kind of disappointed in the fact that pretty much all the MSRPs that I'm seeing for a limited are in the mid 50s. I remember before, when I say before, I mean like four years ago, the average MSRP on a Jeep Grand Cherokee limited was around like 45 or 46,000. Now it's like 56,000. It was just shocking, a major sticker shock seeing this high of a jump on a Jeep Grand Cherokee of all vehicles. The one that I've got picked out is a limited 4x4 with an MSRP of 50190 This is a cheaper limited 4x4. You can actually find the majority sitting at around between fifty to fifty-four, fifty-five $55,000. You could tell though the 50000 mark is probably exactly what you need. Believe it or not, Laredo and Limited do not get a promotional APR. It's really the Summit and the Overland that got the promotional APR offer of 2.9% at 72 months. I was just like, why? Why wouldn't you just offer the promotional APR on all of the trims? However, as far as rebates go, they are offering $3,500 in my region if you're going to be buying or leasing the Jeep Grand Cherokee. It changes a little bit if you're buying or leasing. However, the availability of this much money in rebates, phenomenal, especially because the vehicle was just redesigned about like a year and a half ago. I did put a link for Edmunds.com in the description below. What I would recommend is probably entering in the vehicle that you're looking for, looking for the incentives tab, and then finding out which incentives are available and if whether or not you qualify. They include all the disclaimers and all that stuff so you can actually find out, do I actually qualify or not? 
Lease program's not too, too bad. We're sitting at about a 55% residual for 36 months at 12,000 miles a year. Money factor could be a little bit better, but it's not terrible. Again, it's average. 0 0.00107 money factor, which translates to about a 2.5% APR. Plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming we're giving just our inception fees do it start. So your first payment, acquisition fee, doc fee, registration, all that stuff. Do it start roughly about 1800, but it could change depending on which state and how much your dealership charges, yada, yada, yada. Just assume that you're giving just your inception fees. Do it start. I'm plugging in a $2,000 rebate in my region for leases. There also is 2000 in loyalty cash. For those of you that are coming out of a Jeep lease, also available if you're going to be buying, but just that's a completely other subject. Also, because Edmonds told me to shoot for a 7% discount and I truly believe that I could get it, I'm going to be shooting for a 7% discount. And I reflected that in the selling price I've entered in into this lease calculator and I get a pretty exciting lease payment in return. $537 a month. That's not including sales tax, you guys. Again, that's assuming you're paying inception fees. Do it start. I think that if you're really, really diligent, getting even into the 400s, if you're kind of aggressive and if you hit it at the right time, I think you can get it. This is exciting. This is actually getting me kind of fired up, you guys. Use the links in the description below or by clicking here to do the research, contact the dealers, get this whole process of trying to shop around for the best price on the Jeep Grand Cherokee going. And don't just rush into the best deal. Take your time. Enjoy the process a little bit. It should be a little bit easier right now than it was a little while ago. Now, as far as the used market, I plugged in a 2020 with less than 50,000 miles, clean condition, all that stuff into cars.com. About 1,800 of them showed up. Obviously, you can find many Jeep Grand Cher used Jeep Grand Cherokees. There's a, there's too many of them available, but the average three year old one with less than 50,000 miles clean condition from the previous generation is likely to be selling retail for about between 32 to $34,000. And it's, it kind of sucks because back when this car was out brand new. So if you were to get, if you were to go to the dealership and shop for a 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee limited brand new, they would probably be selling for like $44,000 full sticker, full MSRP. After discounts, you could probably see it for like $36,000. So it's kind of depressing seeing it for just go for a couple thousand dollars less than what you could have got that Jeep Grand Cherokee brand new for a few years ago. And I just don't think that the prices are going to stay consistent later down the road. I think that it's just an awful idea to want to go and buy a used Jeep Grand Cherokee. I would just stick to either leasing a brand new one right now and sort of figuring it out in a couple of years, whether or not it makes any sense to buy the Grand Cherokee off the lease or return it and just shop for a used one in three years from now. Again, you guys use the links in the description below. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.